Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. First of all, ATX, the main concern or the very important question is, sir, what is the difference between TX and ATX? ATX and TX, what is the difference? Is both papers are same? Is there any difference? Definitely yes. If ATX and TX are same, why ACC is putting a new paper named ATX in their professional level exam? So TX is the grassroots, TX is the baseline for ATX. Without TX, you cannot pass ATX, simple. TX knowledge, TX things are going to be carried forward for your journey in ATX. You cannot ignore TX. If you want to pass ATX, got my point? Yes, sir. That's correct. In, uh, sorry? Yes, yes. In TX, we used to have MCQs, MTQs, and then Section C for CRQs. But now we are in professional level exam. We are now big boys. We are now mature students. So for us, is there is are not going to be any MCQs or MTQs. There is only CRQs, yani full fledged, full fledged writing, full fledged paper. No drama of Kon Banega Karurpati. No, no more drama of who wants to be a billionaire like A, B, C, D. No. There is going to be big, 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 big questions. Big scenarios. So we are going to deal like section C type questions. In TX, what we used to have for 40 marks, here we used we will get it for 100 marks. And in the whole of the paper of ATX is going to be CRQ and long questions. The paper is going to be broken into two parts. Number one, part A. Number two, part B. Part A is what? Part A is a scenario, a long scenario, a long scenario, which will be based on different, different topics. Income tax, corporation tax, CGT, IHT, VAT, this, that. Mix of number of topics is going to be section A, where you will have 50 marks to score. 50 marks available. Yani the total marks available in question number one are going to be five zero fifty marks. Okay? okay. Section B, you will get two questions, two scenarios again. But the scenarios are a bit shorter as compared to scenario in question number one. And those two scenarios usually are going to be one or two areas of the syllabus, not on many topics. Usually, the scenarios in section B, any question two and question three, usually they are on one specific area or one specific topic. But in section A, number of topics, number of areas are going to be examined. Any problem? So all types will come in section A, so we cannot uh, Yes, yeah. there is no choice, Yani. You cannot leave any part of the syllabus. All areas are important because we are now in professional okay. examination. We cannot leave anything. Hmm. The new thing, the new thing is this. Professional skills marks. What is this? Students who just completed a skills level paper and the last paper is TX, and now they want to do ATX, so they can do it. But for them, there is a new thing, new concept called professional marks. There are zero professional marks in your skills level journey. Students who pass FC, TX, FR, AA, FM, all the drama, all the papers of skills level, they don't know what is professional skill marks and what the drama is. But 
जब स्टूडेंट्स हु ऑलरेडी गिव एसबीएल और दिस टाइप ऑफ पेपर्स दे आर अवेयर दे आर अवेयर ऑफ दैट व्हाट इज स्किल लेवल मार्क्स और प्रोफेशनल स्किल मार्क्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू टोटल आउट ऑफ 100 मार्क्स 20 मार्क्स आर गोइंग टू बी अवार्डेड by acc examiner for professionalism what is professionalism look very carefully you are going to write your answer atx is not like tx that you will calculate and finish you calculate and finish no you will calculate then explanation is going to be there too much too much too much explanation marks are going to be there too much explanation marks are going to be there that is the difference between skills level papers and advanced level papers that in advanced level papers there are lot of theory there are lots of explanation a student is required by examiner to write in atx paper is not like that you calculate and finish no you calculate you comment you analyze you explain and finish that is a difference between skill level paper atx and atx in tx you calculate finish khalas with that set no more theory khali wali theory but in atx in professional level paper examiner wants you to write to write the drama right 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 and too much writing too much writing is required by examiner in atx paper and that is the big problem of many students because most of the students coming from non english background non english background non english background means they don't know how to write english they are very good in calculations but they are really bad in scenario in dealing with scenarios especially when it comes to write about the scenario or write their answer got my point so that is the main problem why students are uh, losing marks or fluent in this paper because they don't know how to write in the paper but for you english is not a big problem as you are living in a country where the first language is english so for you i hope english is not a big okay. issue so writing in english is okay for us writing in english is okay yes, for us so for us it's not a bottleneck it's not a big issue that we don't know how to write it how to write cases so for us it's alhamdulillah it's an advantage that we know how to write english okay so that's the difference of tx and atx in atx the examiner will require you to write and when you are going to write how ethical you are how ethical you are yani for example if you are advising someone i am making it very simple are you and now they are asking you assume you are a tax consultant and you are advising someone about something so if you are advising unethical way yani you are advising that make under invoicing do something like this yani you are telling someone you are advising a person about fraud about tax chori you know chori you know urdu bit bit choti choti urdu malum yes of course only i know of course thodi thodi urdu malum okay so if you advise someone about chori chakari drama do number bemani minni minni malum minni minni if you telling someone do like this way and save the tax illegal way allah akbar haram tax examiner is going to deduct five marks from you in the scenario one okay yani we are pen our pen note pen our keyboard must write something be ethical we have to be ethical 
and we must write in a proper manner. We must write in a proper way. Got my point? Hello? We must write in a proper way. Yani, job am likte hai na, to tamiz se likhne ka. Tamiz se likhne ka malo? Yani, we should not write like we are writing something and then we disconnect the the way we are writing, we are taking something new, writing about it, and then we are joining with the previous paragraph. What is this? Write in a proper manner. If they are asking you conclude, you must give a proper conclusion. They are asking you advice, so you must give a proper advice. Yani write in a way the examiner is demanding from you. Don't, don't write whatever is coming in your mind. What is this? You mm -hmm. are under professional exam by examiner is requiring you to write in a proper way. Write in a tariqah. Write okay. in a proper way. Write something. Complete it. Give advisory. Give conclusion before you hit another part of the question. Don't write it. I am writing. But some, you know, some people are there. Copy bhar kya hunga? I will write, 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 write. Whatever will come in my mind, I will write. Allahu Akbar. Okay, no problem. No problem. Maafi mushkil. If you would like to do like this, you are going to lose 10 marks easily. Simple. All over the paper, in the, in the first question, huh? in the question one, you will lose 10 marks. Halas. Overall paper, you are going to lose 20 marks if you write what is just coming in your mind. Writing, writing, writing. Don't conclude it. Don't make it proper. Just writing, 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 and writing. Then examiner will say, okay, I will give you marks out of 80 and your result will be out of 100. Okay. Okay. Very nice. And easily... A person is going to lose 20 precious marks if he will not write in a proper manner. Any questions? No. Exam is, all, is of 3 hours and 15 minutes. The 15 minutes are going to be provided to you to read the paper, 15 minutes to read the paper and 3 hours to solve it. Okay? Okay. Then mm -hmm. the paper is of scenario based. Uh, all of the paper is going to be scenarios, three scenarios, one for 50 marks and two for the remaining marks, and it's going to be like that. Okay. Any questions? But actually, for that uh, question two and question three, they don't because in normally in TX and all they specify like okay, section B has VAT, IHT, CGT, and all. So question two and question three, anything, right? It, and, it's specifically one topic, but any of the one topic. Any of the one topic, yes. That is the thing. That is the difference between TX and ATX. You are right. TX has its own science. Calculation, 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 rules, 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 too much, too much to memorize. And in TX, the problem is, if you forgot a rule, your calculation is going to be out. And you are going to lose marks. MCQs, no? If you forgot any rule, MCQ answer will never come. You will lose the whole two marks or whatever the marks are going to be. That is the problem of uh, of TX. That if we forgot the rules, halas, it's gone. But ATX is a bit easy as compared to TX. Why I am saying like that? In ATX, if you forgot the rules, how to calculate, you will lose some marks only. But if you explain the examiner, the implications, if you explain the examiner, what the thing is about, you will get some marks. 
if you forgot how to calculate, if you miss some calculation, if you ignore something, again, if you ignore the calculation part and you write it correctly, you explain it correctly, you will get half of the marks. Yani not zero. In TX, if you forgot something, you will get a zero. Halas, gone. But in TA 18X, no zero, Baba. If you forgot something to calculate, if you forgot how to calculate, and if you explained it, calculation you forgot, but instead of calculating, you explained it properly, you give the proper implications, you will get marks. That is the difference between TX and ATX. ATX or SVL or any paper in advanced module or in this professional module, they, they are testing how good is student in writing, how good is student in making the reports or explanation. And unfortunately, Asian, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, our students are a bit weak in this area. They don't know how to write because English, English and English is a problem. So if your English is okay, ATX rules, you will keep in your mind and we will write. Write, 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 write. Although we forgot some, and if this happens, then I, okay, I forgot how to calculate, but I know what it is. What are the implications? You will still get the marks. No zeros. No zeros. That's why ATX is a different ball game as compared to TX. Got my point? Yes. And students whose English or writing skills are good, they easily manage this paper in first attempt and it's, it's not going to give them a hard time as compared to TX. TX is really gives you, gave you hard time, but ATX is usually not giving hard time to those students who recently passed TX. Yani TX was their last paper of skill level and they are picking, they are selecting the ATX in very next attempt. So for them, pass the chances, the chances of passing ATX are very bright. So you are the. Is it possible? Is it possible to like get good marks also, not just pass? I'm like trying to aim for really good marks because my employers and everyone look at it in a very high angle. So I want to sell myself better. No problem. See, we will inshallah discuss all the topics. You will learn each and everything, and we will do the mm -hmm. plan and uh, hub mock inshallah as hub uh, questions from the hub as well. So. Inshallah, inshallah, we will uh, do it and you will get a good mark, inshallah. Thank you, sir. So that's the introduction of ATX, that how ATX is different from TX. Same thing, FR and SBR. FR is calculation which paper. SBR is, again, report, drafting, writing. So, when a student comes in the professional level, the, the mentality of examiner is completely changed. Here the examiner wants you to narrate, report, explain, narrate, explain, advise, something like that. Keywords are very important here. But in the skill level paper, calculate. Calculate, just calculate, calculate this, calculate that. Ah, okay. Here, explain and support your explanation with calculation. Explain, advise, but support your advice with calculation. That is the one-liner difference between TX and ATX. So, any problem? Now, many students ask me, that sir, how much TX is going to help me in my ATX journey? Yani, is TX is going to help me 
in my ATX journey or ATX is something which I am going to learn from scratch. So what is the answer? What do you think? Uh, in my opinion? Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, I think taxation is very, very important. Like because the TX paper is very important to, it's a base, it's that launching pad before we attempt to understand, you know, a very difficult scenario. Basically, I mean, ATX, I don't think we should, you know, uh, you know, we shouldn't spend time on like scratch, like TX type of way, because I think they focus clearly on very, you know, difficult kinds of uh, scenarios that could arise in any organization and how we are going to address that. So I think taxation is very important. In my opinion, 90%, 99% is very important before we attempt ATX. Masha. That's how I feel. Your opinion is 100% okay and I am supporting it and I am with it. You said it. without, And I am saying in my way, without ATX, without TX, there is no ATX, Baba. Simple. And Correct. I say to the students, I used to ask them when they are approaching me, that beta TX cup diya tha when you attempt your TX paper. And if they said, sir, before one year, before one and a half year, so I tell them that now listen, we will learn ATX, we will redo the concept of TX, but I am going to share you all of my videos of TX, which you have to watch. Hi. Sir, we passed TX now. So what? You pass the TX, but you passed it before one year, before two year, before one and a half year, or you pass your TX in tax year 21, 22, or 22, any previous tax years, the rules are different now. So you have to watch my videos of TX as well, which I am going to share. But if I ask that Jumana, when you pass your TX, Jumana will say, sir, just last month, I got my result. And I pass my TX, so I will say marhaba, mashallah for you, covering up TA, ATX is a bit easy, leish, why, Q? Q. Yeah. so I will not say my words, I will show you official syllabus of ATX from ACCA hub, ACCA study hub in front of you, is it visible? Yes sir. Is it visible? Yes sir. Okay ma'am, now look. Look, 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 look. <laughs> I am going to highlight something with yellow color. Tax, income tax administration. POA, pow, pow, balancing payment, penalties for individual, return submission date. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, I yes. learned it. Okay. Now, income tax computation. We learned it in TX mm -hmm. or in LEX. Or no? Correct. Yes, we did. Property income. Oh, okay. Wow. Pension. We learned. MashaAllah. SubhanAllah. Employment income. My 33 benefits in the employment yes. income. Ah, oh, this is something new. Further expense. Wallahi, I don't know. Okay. No problem. Ah, oh, and code. Something new. I don't know. Cessation. Something new. I don't know. Partnership. Okay, I know. CGT, 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 overseas, eh? overseas in CGT, wallahi sir, I don't know, tax planning is a big drama here, in, in, in TX, we did tax planning for 10 marks, here is going to be 50 marks in the paper, tax planning is all over the paper in TX, so new drama, okay, new drama sir, okay, fine, new drama, film Hindi, Okay, corporation tax, so, tax administration, large company will pay its tax in one installment, uh, in four installments, the small company will pay the corporation tax in one go. I know that. TTP, I know that. Reliefs of losses, I know that. Oh, okay, so you are witnessing that most of the topics, inheritance tax, you know that, you know that this one, but overseas in inheritance, we didn't know, question mark. Trust, we don't know. Vet, we know, but further expect, no. Ethics, oh, topic. Yani, what I am going to tell you, what I am telling you, 
what is my objective of showing this syllabus? That 90% is tax. Yani 80% of your syllabus is coming from TX with the addition in each topic. In each chapter of TX, there are some additions, huh? There are. Sorry. Let me show you yeah. one, one very easy one, which uh, you can see. In TA, in TS, in tax, we know marriage allowance. We learned marriage yeah. allowance. We learned child benefit, but we don't learn income for minors. Any small kids, any a baby born, and suddenly he became a landlord. Wow. Why? Because a baby born in the family of Sheikh, mashallah, a baby born in the family of Sheikh. And once a baby born, Sheikh came and Sheikh said, Habibi, Burj Khalifa is yours. MashaAllah, SubhanAllah. Or Sheikh said, uh, the Jumeirah Island is yours. No problem. Take it, Habibi. Enjoy. Oh, my God. This kid is now richer than uh, Ambani, yani, right? Yes. So, this happens. So, if minor earned income, what we will do? What we will do? We will learn here. All other topics are same. We learned it. We know it. The one new topic is here. And that's it for my introduction to the ATX class. If you have any questions, you can ask. Otherwise, in from the next class, we will start studying the syllabus from chapter number two of Study Hub, inshallah. Any questions? Uh, sir, actually, uh, you know, before 23-24 uh, year, 